Hey, what's going on? In this video, I wanna share with you three really awesome hamstring strengthening exercises, say that three times fast, that you can incorporate into your run strength training routine. This is really important because we always talk about quads or glutes or calves or core, but we forget about those muscles on the backside of the legs that really do a lot of action when we run. So it's important for us to strengthen them accordingly. For these exercises, you're just gonna need a mat and maybe a couple towels that will slide around on either hardwood like I have or tile or linoleum or just some sort of slippery surface in your house, okay? If you have carpet uh, and some paper plates, that will also do, all right? So if you're ready, let's get going. Okay, the first exercise that we're gonna do is prone on our stomachs. So come all the way down. And just make a little rest for your head here and just feel the hips pressing into the floor. And the very first thing we're going to do is just simply curl the right heel in towards the right sitting bone. So just making that brain body connection into the muscle group that we want to focus on here. So the goal is to keep everything else silent. So no rocking or rolling here. We're just going to bring heel to sitting bone. And if you do enough of these in isolation, you will really start to feel it in the hamstring. So let's switch and go to the other side. And just notice, maybe even turn around and have a quick glance to see that the heel is tracking right towards that sitting bone, as opposed to maybe curling in or falling out to the side. So you really want to try to draw that line in the mind from heel to sitting bone. So this is exercise number one. So this is a great place to start to not only just make the brain body connection, but to prime and warm up the hamstrings. Now, exercise number two, we'll come all the way up to lie on our backs and come into bridge. So backs of the shoulders, backs of the hips are on the floor and just kind of tuck and untuck your pelvis here until you find a nice neutral long spine. Snuggle the shoulders under, send the hands anywhere that feels comfortable, and just press the hips up towards the ceiling a few times here. So feet are flat for these first two bridges. And then we're gonna up the ante just a little bit so that we really tap into the hamstring. So now I'm gonna spike my heels into the mat and the rest of my foot is elevated up off the floor and the very first thing i want to do is remember that same heel to sitting bone action that we did on our stomachs so as i press into my heels i'm also slightly pulling back towards my sitting bone so watch my body for a second and see if you can notice just the little subtle shift that happens when i drive and pull my heels towards my sitting bones. So that's the action I want to maintain as I press my hips up towards the sky. So try a few of these. And if it starts to feel like it's getting a little easy, re-engage with the drive and pull of the heels. You really should feel this in the backs of the legs. Nice. All right, now the last exercise is what you need the towels or the paper plates for. And I'm just gonna double over my mat because I want my upper body on the mat and my lower body on the floor. So one towel or paper plate under each heel. Come all the way down onto your back. So same setup like we had for bridge here. And the first thing we're going to do with the hips down is just curl heel in to sitting bone. And just try this, kind of like a hamstring runner, okay? So I'm pressing the heels in and pulling towards the sitting bones. The next thing, if you don't lose your towel, <laughs> is we're gonna bring some elevation into it. So I'm gonna straighten the legs, now these next few are just going to be variations all on this same theme here. So straighten the legs, 
press through the heels and the hands to lift the hips up off the floor. Now, if my mat wasn't doubled over, you could probably see, and you can see, that I can get my whole hand up underneath my bum, okay? So press and release. And it, may, it might not look like I'm doing a lot of work, but I promise you, just the simple press and pull to lift the hips turns those hamstrings on big time, all right? Now, if we want to level up, We'll simply pull the heels in, do that same heel spike bridge, and then extend and bend each leg. Okay, the goal is to keep the hips at the same height the whole time. So what we don't want to do is let a hip dip and come up and dip and come up. We want to keep the hips at the same height throughout the movement. Whew, all right. I need a little bit of a break. <laughs> okay, the last one would be the most difficult option, and that would be to start from straight, heels spiked, and curl one leg at a time in towards your sitting bone. Now again, it might not look like it's really hard, but there's a lot of work here happening to keep that lift of my seat up off the mat. Okay, two more. Whew, all right. And then just lower the hips back down, maybe give the knees a pull in towards the chest and rock side to side. So those are just a few exercises and variations of exercises that you can do to start bringing some attention to the back sides of your legs. Now, it doesn't take much, especially if you've really not trained hamstrings before. So start small and work your way up. Maybe do one set of a few reps and then start adding as you start to feel the strength and you feel more comfortable with some of those movements. Don't skip ahead to the hardest variation. Uh, start at the very beginning, prone ham hamstring curls and work your way up from there, all right? Okay, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed those three really simple hamstring exercises. Simple, but not easy. There's the distinction there. And I promise if you kind of incorporate these on a regular basis, you'll really start to see it show up in your running stride. Now, if you liked this video, go down into the links below and check out my free full length dynamic warm up video. Now, I see a lot of people, myself included, the whole reason I created this was because I'm the main offender. <laughs> of what I'm trying to get you guys to do, which is warm up before you go for a run. So I've created this really awesome video. It's down in the links below. Just drop your email in and I will send it to you. And it's basically a template that you can use to start running farther, faster, and stronger. So if that doesn't interest you, I don't know what will, but check it out in the links below. That's all I have for you guys today and I will see you all soon. Bye.